Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here in Austin, Texas for the first drive of this vehicle right here. What the heck is it? It is the all new 2024 Lexus TX. This particular one is the top dog. This is the 550H Plus. But before we get into this maximize midsize three row SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus, they're making some big changes. A lot of people have been happy with the changes, but some people have been like, mm, I'm not really jiving with that. And I think part of some of the problems have been with the changing of what is powering the different Lexus vehicles, especially when you look at the almighty RX lineup. Now, what's fascinating is this TX is much different. It is not an RX. It is its own unique SUV, and it's got its own unique power plants and a ton of different ones to choose from. But what I want to find out is, is the 500H Plus the one you should be buying, the new one, and is it worth the price? Let me go ahead, I want to show you specifically what makes a 500H Plus a 500H Plus, and then we're going to take this for the first drive and see how good it is. Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, what you're going to find on the 500H Plus, of course, is going to be full LED lighting. And I think Lexus does a bang up job with their style. Now, another thing that really I think speaks to me is going to be the fog lamps down below. That is gonna be a unique touch to the 550H Plus, especially with the absence of gloss black. Now, when we look at that spindle body, of course, when you go all the way, you're getting a forward facing camera, and you're getting that new sleek style. Let me know down in the comments section if you're digging this. I know sometimes I look at this and I think of like a, uh, like a Bic shaver, like a five blade shaver, a 10 blade shaver sort of thing. But let me know if you like this new spindle body or if you wish they had the standard spindle grill. But that is something new specific to the TX. Now, as we come around the bend, when we go wheels on the 550, you're going 22 inch big ones. Nice metallic gray, almost like a black shiny finish of chrome to them. You have two piece rotors, nice beefy rotors and huge six piston calipers. Of course, everything is gonna be tuned specifically on this chassis because this is a plug-in electric hybrid. It is the only TX that is a plug-in electric hybrid and yes, you could drive in total battery quiet silence with this vehicle. Coming down the side, color matched on the mirror caps. I like the way we have 360 degree cameras. And from the side, you could see the extra length of the TX. Wait until we get to the interior space. But really nicely done with having a, a good cohesive design of materials, especially with the way they have some body colored on the door handles. And I like the way the silver trim is only on top. I think if you outlined every single window on the side of this vehicle, it would look really corny. Keeping it silver with a little bit of gloss black and a little bit of flat black is the way to go. Now on this side, on the passenger side, this is where you're gonna have your plug-in, hence this being a plug-in electric hybrid. Now you might be saying, well, Joe, is this full electric? No. Even though you do have to plug in a full electric vehicle, which is known as a BEV, battery electric vehicle, this is different because we have plug-in, but we also have the good old fashioned internal combustion engine underneath that hood. Now putting this back, I gotta make sure I do it right here because Steven's gonna yell at me if I don't. You don't have to yell at me, Steven, so save it for later. Coming on back, swinging it around to the rear end, I think it was smart to keep it nice and flush. So you don't have a bumper sticking 10 feet behind it. You have your clean, full LED style, the Lexus name spelled out. And another thing I think they did great because there is a lot of letters and numbers is they did the badging very clean. Nice to just have it here with our Direct 4 all-wheel drive. But well, why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk about what makes this TX-550H Plus so special. All right, guys, pop the hood. This is what makes a TX-550H Plus 
a TX 550H Plus. What you have underneath the hood is not a four cylinder, not a four cylinder turbo. Guess what? You have a naturally aspirated V6. It's the only one in the lineup that has that. Paired with the electric motor to give you that plug in hybrid component, it's got an ECBT direct four all wheel drive. You're looking at 404 horsepower. Here's the kicker 33 miles pure EV. So if your kids' school is 15 miles away from where you live, you could pick the kids up and drop them off and not use a one drop of gas. MPGs overall, 29 in the city, 28 on the highway. The great news is if you want a four-cylinder turbocharged engine, you can get a four-cylinder turbocharged engine. If you want extra performance with rear-wheel steering, you can get that in this vehicle. But why don't we go ahead Let's fire it up and see it roll. That's one thing we did not do that we need. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Lexus TX 550H Plus for the first drive. Now, you know, one of the things that I love about this vehicle is, like I said, that it's its own unique SUV. This is not a modified RX or something like that. So you're going to get some really nice, unique touches, especially with that power plant. I know you want to hear the price. What Many are speculating, including me, MSRP. There's no official pricing yet, but MSRP will be right around $78,000 for this SUV. Let's see if it's gonna be worth the cash to the door panels. I do like the use of materials. Soft touch, high quality. Of course, if you're buying a Lexus, it's like PB&J. You're getting the Mark Levinson sound system, 21 speakers so that your ears can just have a nice eargasm when you're rocking out to your favorite tunes. And then the door pocket, it's on the tighter side, but you know what? Get a couple breakfast tacos and a nice large bottle of Yoohoo to wash it down. And that's like the breakfast of champions here in Austin. Now going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material. I love this silver trim. I wish they would have used this a little bit more. And of course you have some nice soft microfiber suede material. All TXs get the same infotainment system, and that's not a bad thing. This is a 14-inch infotainment system. Let me know if you're happy with the way it's integrated. It's like a floating iPad, but it's really not. I think they did a really great job with it, and especially because of the size. You're going to have all your AC, dual climate, heated seats, ventilated seats, the whole shabam, including a heated steering wheel. Working our way down, I want to push this button. You see this? It says view. Watch this. Steven's going to go back on the screen. You could do your 360. So in case maybe you're, you have some fans that's been stalking you, you could do a 360 search here to find out if they're hiding in the bushes or wherever they're hiding. So nice to have that little piece of technology. And then you could do global. Like where is that camera? Is it floating above the TX right now? Kind of cool to have that technology. Just It's the little things. I'm all about the little things adding up to the big picture. Speaking of that, we do have wire, uh, wireless charging. You got a place for at least, I would say, 10 Tootsie Rolls. Open it up. That's where you can put the rest of the Tootsie Rolls. So you, Steven actually counted. He fit 374 and a half Tootsie Rolls in this compartment with a 12 volt. I'm showing the actual use of the cup holders. Technically, they're bottles, so I guess you have to call these bottle holders, but they are removable. This is going to control your eCVT, and then you have that soft touch material. Open up the doors. What do we have? We got a nice large compart compartment with some felt lining in there, and you know what? You can uh, easily put that signed photograph that you got from Chuck Norris because he was the, the Texas Ranger. You could get that signed autograph of Chuck Norris. And this is definitely an SUV Chuck Norris would drive, I think, because uh, it does everything well, just like Chuck Norris. Seats, the soft material, 
the great bolstering, nothing too crazy. Electric assist for the passenger, electric assist for the driver. And guess what? The Zonk is still there. They didn't fix it by the time I got done with the, the first look review. No sunroof whatsoever. Chuck Norris would literally just punch a hole right through this roof. So that's what he would do. But you still have this great digital rear view mirror. You could actually see the uh, shuttle bus behind us and cars driving around in downtown Austin. But why don't you come over here to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of this TX. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. What's nice is, is that it's easy to get to those seat controls. And I like the way they put a little bit of gloss black finish on them. Just makes them look really special. Plenty of room in here. Steering wheel. You have the leather all the way around. I love the way flat black on the buttons. Even the way they place your memory seat settings. Nice to get to that very easily, all within fingertip reach electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you have that 12.3 inch digital display. You could have your navigation in the center. You could scroll through a cornucopia of different information, which is great, including active drive support systems. You got your Lexus safety system features 3.0, all of the different information that you could ever want. And they even give you a G meter for God's sakes. Other than that, you have a nice large head up display, but let's show off the mid row and the third row because I'm dying to take you on throttle in this over 400 horsepower TX. Hi right, guys, mid row and third row time. And this is where Lexus is putting uh, the money where their mouth is, is they're giving you tons of generous space, six feet tall. Love the way that they have the AC vents nice and high, but I also love the way I'm not even close to that headliner. Backs of the seats, soft touch material, large pockets. You easily put a couple flapjacks from IHOP back there. And if you don't know what a flapjack is, that's a, that's a cool name for a pancake. Talk about cool. You have your AC controls to keep you cool or hot. And we have heated seats and ventilated seats in the mid row. USB C's, a place to put a nice small hot dog down there. And you got a home power source. I have my own pocket here and we have our official test umbrella. Now I'm not going to open this inside the car because remember, whenever you open an umbrella inside, that's actually 10 years bad luck. I don't want that. Keep it away from me. Captain's chairs. I don't really feel like a captain. It, it just, I don't know. It's just, but the good news is you do have this removable little center console area with removable cup holders. So it's like removable times two. Now, if you want to see the back seat area, if you want to see me sit in it, you're going to have to watch the first look. This is the first drive. So I'm just going to show it to you. You're going to hit the button. Voila. Look at all the space back there. The seats have electric tilt. You have your connectivity and everything else. But let's get to the cargo area real quick because I'm ready to go on throttle in this TX. All right, guys, cargo area time. We're going to make this a little quicker. If you want to see all the results of folding down the, the seats and everything, watch our first look review. I'll leave the link to that one at the end of this video. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave the third row up because this is really the big talking point. Over 20 cubic feet of space with the third row up. You'll notice how we have a home power source, which is great. You got your subwoofer for that 21 speaker Mark Levinson sound system. And these are the buttons that you hit to fold down the seats. And then some people have been giving me some suggestions in the, in the comment section. They want to see me actually plug in a plug-in. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm not near a power source, but I'm going to take this out of the back. We're going to, we're going to take the condom off this. This is a condom to protect your plug-in instrument here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, come over here. We're going to open this up. You pull that off and this is how you, this is for you, Frank. Frank, this is for you. You've been wanting me to do this. One, two, three. There you go. Plug in. So hopefully Frank and everybody else that wanted to see that is very, very happy. I'm going to leave it out right now. We're going to spin back around because guess what? If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. We're going to go for a drive. Not with that hanging out, but we're going to go for an on throttle drive with this over 400 horsepower TX. Let's get to the first drive. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Lexus 550 H Plus. 
This, like I said, is that plug-in electric hybrid version of this mid-size three-row SUV. And right away, what I love about the vehicle is the usable size. You have all this interior cargo space, passenger space, but it doesn't feel ginormous when you're driving it on these tight Austin city roads. Another thing that I think is super smart is just how easy it is. If you need to make a U-turn, how easy it is to make a U-turn. And then of course, to turn off the whole hybrid and electric feature. I wanna go on throttle in hybrid, you ready? On throttle, here we go. So with that direct four all wheel drive system, it gets the power to the ground very, very nicely. And then this is an eCVT, but the great news is, is that it doesn't have that crazy drone to it. I think Toyota does some of the best eCVTs in the business. When it comes to seating, it really supports you without it, you feeling like you're sitting on a beanbag chair or a marshmallow. I know sitting on a marshmallow might, may sound like the best thing ever, but it's not when you're behind the wheel of any vehicle, especially this one. We have all of our Lexus 3.0 plus safety features, lane keep assist, blind spot monitor. It even tells you to keep your eyes on the road. That's what that beeping was, because I'm looking at you guys. It wants me to keep my eyes on the road. And then the storage capacity. Everywhere you look, it's easy to put the things that you want, the things that you need on those daily trips and also on the bigger road trips. Now the good news is I can hit EV mode and now I'm in pure EV. So we have no internal combustion engine that's operating and it's being driven just like a BEV. And this is where you'll be able to get that 33 miles. Look at this, I'm, dri I'm driving an EV right now. And then you hit this, the EV mode button. Voila, it's back on again. That V6 is back on. And very unique to have a V6, a naturally aspirated V6 in a plug-in hybrid. But let's go ahead, I wanna go into this curve here. On the brakes, the handling is where this really comes into play. I mean, look at this. Because you have the lower center gravity, a plug-in hybrid actually handles very, very well. Very balanced, very composed. And the good news is, is that it does not take all of the vibration from the road. The chassis actually isolates it and bring and doesn't bring it into the cabin. So the cabin stays very, very quiet, which is important because if I'm gonna go full EV, you don't have the vibration of the internal combustion engine to cancel those noises out. But like I said, you know, being able to navigate very, very easy in this vehicle. And now I'm in pure EV and we're just driving along, not using a drop of gas. The 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster has all that great information, including a G meter, which I just hit the button again. And you can hear the V6, it's not too loud, it's not too buzzy, but it gives you exactly what you need and exactly what you want when it comes to having that setup. But look at this, great handling, really composed, very secure, very, very planted. And I like that. If you're gonna name an all wheel drive system direct four, it better be direct. Make a quick U-turn here, look at this, easy peasy, lemon squeezy pull away and it's real comfortable and very very secure we're gonna get out onto the highway because obviously a lot of people are gonna take family road trips in this thing we're gonna get on the highway and see how it drives but getting to that infotainment system if you can't reach this behind the wheel I don't know what to tell you this is really as good as it gets with an infotainment system and then of course you have the head-up display to give you all the pertinent information. But here we are on the highway, smooth. You don't really tell when the engine 
turns on and when it turns off, unless you are on full on throttle, that's when you hear the V6. But I tell you, they did a great job with making a nice, serene driving experience in this vehicle. But really, really well done and how versatile it is. But I'm hoping that this has been a good overall review for you. Hopefully this shows you what the 550H Plus is all about. We're gonna bring more drives from Austin. So definitely look on the channel for the other trims, but we're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another great day here in Austin, Texas. So glad to bring you the first drive Obviously, we have to thank the whole Lexus USA team for giving us an invite to this event. Let me know what you think. Are you thinking that this is worth the price and the best way to go for your new three-row SUV? Or are you gonna go maybe with one of the other trims? Or maybe you're gonna go in a totally different direction. Let me know down that comment section, but if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, working that camera like a champ. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for wearing your special Texas size knee pads so that you don't hurt your knees while you are getting down and dirty filming with this TX. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.